So we're from this small um, art and design school called Shrishti, which is next door to the National Center for Biological Sciences in India. Um, so our project deals with the... So since we are an art school, at some point um, we have as artists been very, very interested in the life sciences. Um, and the enormous scope that it gives us in terms of philosophical potential, ethical potential, aesthetic potential and all of it. And that's what sort of brings us here to the edge. Um, so what the bacteria does is uh, fairly simple. It smells of rain, is of uh, wet earth. Um, but what was essential uh, in our project was not only about working in the laboratory and coming up with our protocols or doing it, but what happens before and after. Um, essentially, the two really, really important things that we, we, we think are assets of our team is one, that um, we had a solid outreach program where we thought it was completely essential to share this knowledge of whatever little things that we've put together through research, through workshops, paper, through friends, yes. through guides, who, whatever the resources and move it on. So we went to an uh, urban poor school and there were children between 7 and 15 and we shared this knowledge. We did a DNA drawings, asked them what they think the DNA looks like, whether it exists, whether it doesn't. Um, we went to NID, which is the National National School premier design, design school yeah. in uh, Bangalore. And um, it's kind of like a design research institute. And so shared, so we, we tried and shared it with as many people and as many kinds of people could. Uh, and then that brings us to um, ethics and <laughs> and this big huge question of whether we should really be here, whether somebody else should be here, whether non-scientists um, when we are here, whether we are raising a, what if we were not the right people, what if somebody else was not the right people, what if it goes to them, it's all, it, it's all there in the project. So that's very interesting. Um, what kind of reaction have you gotten from other people who find out that some non-biologists, non-engineers are here at iGEM? Well, a lot of our team, when we signed up for this project, refused to sign, sign up for the project as being from a design background, saying that it was completely unethical for me to get into this. And how can you deal with something like this when it's a, when it's a living thing? How can you cut, some, cut something up? Yeah, but mainly disbelief, because um, it's... There is this perception that you can generally stand outside and comment uh, on something like synthetic biology, but how can you possibly stand inside the frame and still and then comment? And so that was essential for us, so that we that we have some kind of credibility to say what we have to say and question what we have. And there was a little. Yeah, I mean, there's, tough. there still is. I mean, people don't understand what when when we approach scientists with uh, with our background. Art is perceived as something you do in a book, like the, the, the just it's okay. So you're artist, so you're just doing illustrations. So it's like science. What are you what are you doing here? So it's it's uh, we've had a long journey like traversing that. And what do you think your chances are today? Well, I don't think we were looking at <laughs> chances to begin with. We're here to make a point, like a statement. And yeah. It's, I hope at least we can share that point. Well, I think yes. at least that in that in that effect you are you guys are very effective. Uh huh. Thanks a lot. Thank you.